Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing villain, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock it with the best. Yard! What a great topic for today. Riches are in niche bitches. Riches are in niches, man. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that that title. You could tell that <clears throat> title to anybody that tells you that you need your product can serve everybody. If someone tells you that their product serves everybody, that means their product serves nobody. It, 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 it To me, it sounds like a multi-level marketing scheme if somebody says anybody and everybody could use it. That's bullshit. That's absolutely hogwash. So I am going to share some insight with you on why there's riches in niches. So peace and love and happiness to all you guys. Thank you for tuning in to my 100 for 100 show. That's 100 videos in 100 days covering sales and marketing aspects of all kinds, but specifically with sales and marketing. Okay, so let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give a couple of shout outs real quick. What up, Keisha Watts? What's up to everybody that's tuning in? All right, so look, check. Have any of you guys ever seen an Arnold Schwarzenegger action movie before? Have any of you guys ever seen an Arnold Schwarzenegger action movie before? Type in one if you've seen an Arnold Schwarzenegger action movie. Give it a minute. Now, if you guys seen an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie before, this guy comes out with a huge gun, right? And he starts to spray and shoot everything. Everything. When I mean everything, this nigga is hitting mailboxes, Starbucks cups, VCRs, three-wheel trolleys. He hits everything. He hits everything but the intended target. So all, all he's doing is wasting bullets, wasting bullets, wasting bullets. That is not the type of person or business owner you want to be. You want to be more of a sniper. And that's why I have that illustration picture on top. You want to be a sniper. You want to be patient. You want to sit on that rooftop and wait for your intended target to come through. You got to know what your target looks like, what that target is wearing, what their interests are, how they move, how they think, all of that. That is being a sniper in sales and marketing, okay? If you want to be on top of the food chain, learn how to get customers for a niche market. You will be indispensable. You will have more people looking to contract you and use you for your business and services than anything because any business and every business wants customer. That's one common thing that they have. They all need customers, but they want qualified customers, not just any random customers. So I want you to imagine this. I say I'm going to give you $1,000 to get my company customers. I'm going to give you $1,000 to get my company customers. My product is carpets. The average sale for my carpet is $700. I tell you, for every sale that I make that you bring in, I'm going to give you 20% of each sale. So that's $140 you get per sale. Your job is to take that $1,000 and get me customers. Let me ask you this. Who do you target? So I'll give you a couple of examples to see, just to get your mind thinking in the right direction. I'll, I'll run the scenario again with you guys. What's up, James Moore? What's up, Ricky Jackson? 
I give you $1,000 to get my company customers. My product is carpet. The average sale of carpeting is $700. I tell you that I will give you 20% of each sale that you bring to my company. That's $140 that you get per sale. Who do you target? And here's a couple of examples. Do you target the person that lives in apartments? Or do you target the people that live in homes? You don't have to answer it here. Just think about it to yourself. Write it down if you need to. Do you target people that live in apartments? Or do you target people that live in homes? Do you target people that are looking for plumbing? Or do you target people that are looking for flooring? Do you target people that are moving out of an apartment? Or do you target a landlord moving in tenants. You understand? The more you refine your niche, the more you refine the people that you're targeting, you become more immersed. You become to cannibalize that niche, meaning you start learning any anything and everything about that specific niche. What happens is, by default, you become a master and an expert at that. So if anybody calls you and asks you about carpeting, you know every single thing that that person is going to ask you. You know their objections before they have objections. You answer their questions before they even have a chance to ask it. And with that, you pretty much are eliminating your competition because you, let's just say the customer calls you. You're an expert in your field about carpeting. You break it down. Boom, 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 boom. That customer says to you, okay, great. Thank you for the knowledge that you give me. I'm going to shop around and call a couple of different companies to see if I could get a better price. They call different companies and realize that these people aren't as well versed as you. And if they do go with the other company, it might be a very shabby job. So in the customer's mind, they're thinking, how many times do I want to cry? And I'll break that down to you. How many times do I want to cry? If I hire the best, I only cry once. That means I, I'm crying about the price. The price is pretty high, but I know I won't have any problems because this company has a 100% guarantee, money back, uh, great customer service. I'm only going to cry once. Now, if I go with this least expensive company who looks like a fly by night, they're here today and gone tomorrow. Now, I may cry two, three times with this company. I may cry because one, they did a terrible job. Two, I had a hard time getting to come back out and fixing the problem. And three, I didn't get what they promised me. That is why you want to hone down and nail down a niche. Shout out to Jason, Jeffrey. What up, you guys? That is why you want to nail down a niche. You want to be a sniper in the category that you're in. You want to dominate the space and then you can expand from there. Once you're known as car the carpet guy or whatever thing that you do, you can expand from there because you got to start getting phone calls from different industries saying, hey, I know you guys specialize in carpeting. Do you guys do tile flooring? Do you guys do snapping flooring? You start to get into that industry. But it's because you mastered and became an expert in one. So I hope this helps out to you guys. Rewind, replay this video if you have to. Do that quick little exercise that I just did with you and ask yourself, how can I become a master and expert in one thing? Trust me, you want to make the most money from one 
flourishing business, then you can expand and do other things, real estate and other stuff. But you want to master one thing and be getting a hundred percent of revenue from one, one company. Not these fly by night. I do everything entrepreneurs that they do everything. You know, these guys, these are the ones that, man, I do this. I do that. I, I'm in this. I do fucking underwater basket weaving. I train parakeets. I've, I've, you do all, they do everything and they're broke as shit. They don't master nothing. They're, they're a jack of all trades and they don't master shit. Don't be the entrepreneur. Peace.